Namaskar, welcome back to my channel and this is Aditya Soma again. So today I'm going to give you guys a walk tour of my property that you know I have done a bunch of renovations and also made so many mistakes and so many challenges that I came across. So I'm going to share all the stories and we'll be sharing the cost as well. So come check out the tour and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the tour. Here we are and Again, like I mentioned, this is a bird project, which means I'm going to do, I did the renovations and I'm going to rent it out. And I actually did already. The tenants are moving next week. But here, you know, there's, like I said, there are some challenges that we, I have to take care. So the number one, the biggest challenge, you see the door there? You see the door here? It actually, when I bought it, the listing said it's a duplex. Yep. And also like I looked at the old listings, and the city website everywhere it said it's a duplex and guess what happened when the city involved because i had another work order and they involved they didn't talk anything about this until the building inspector came from for a walkthrough and said oh hold on a second this is not a duplex this is a single family i'm like what are you talking it has like two separate kitchens two separate washrooms you know two separate doors and this has been like this for like, I looked at the old listings, like 50 years old listings. And it, it was like this, but he says that there is no records on our city website. Nowhere says it's a duplex. So if I have to make a duplex, now I have to go through the rezoning or I have to do a ADU, legal additional dwelling conversion, which means now I have to go through a lot more renovations. By the time I was already halfway through, I'm like, so guess what I came up with? I opened this up. I made it a single family home. Yep. I generally like to do single family to duplex, but in this case, it was the reverse. Yep. That's right. It's, it's a pain in the butt, but I have to do it. Converted back from duplex to a single family. Yes. It, it kind of, you know, lowers the property value and it, it brings a little bit down on my rent. But again, no matter what, real estate always gives you surprises. You gotta be prepared for it. So thank God I got it for the right price and the renovations were within my budget and still I was able to pull my money out. And also like, again, you know, the market kind of was appreciating well, so that also played a role. So got lucky along the way or else my money would have stuck here. So let's move on. So another one, if you have watched my other video, I mentioned I'll try to take this out. So the living room becomes nice and spacious. But my contractor, she said like, it's gonna cost a couple of grand just to, you know, to make the heating on the floor and match up the trims and match up the ceiling. So he gotta make sure, you know, everything kind of goes well. So that, he said, kind of takes time and money. So I said, okay, forget. So I left it, okay? So let's go talk about what renovations I have done. And also there is another big challenge. So I'm gonna talk about that at the end and also the cost. Okay, so now let's get into the fun part, the, the renovations that I have done here. So to start with the first one is this beautiful looking tile. Now it's actually vinyl. The vinyl that looks like a tile. I really love this one. So just to separate the kitchen and the bedrooms and the living area. We had this, the tile looking vinyl just in the kitchen and the common areas and the bedrooms have a nice vinyl as well. Looks a little bit different, but beautiful one. And if you check all around me, nice gray light color paint, because that's another thing. It brightens up the place. And you know, even the floor, the color that goes well with the gray, that makes the place looks clean and attracts better quality people and the kitchen yes i have done a lot of renovations in the kitchen but first of all i have two stores no they're not gonna stay here that's supposed to go out and that's supposed to be placed there but we are waiting for the technician to replace that gas up and do covid kind of slowing down everything so the guy is not available for a couple of days so i'm just waiting for that uh, but keeping that aside um, on the kitchen, I did a very strategic renovations to save some cost. Um, I haven't replaced all the cabinets because, you know, due to COVID situation, 
the material is not coming on time they're taking like two three months to just uh get the cabinets here so what i did is like i like the old cabinets so i just painted them changed the knobs changed the countertop nice granite countertop and a nice vanity you know nicer tap um install the backsplashes beautiful white install the exhaust before it was like a very ugly fan like a industrial style like restaurant style so now nice stainless steel so appliance is going to be there it's going to look much more beautiful and also change this light fixture and light fixtures throughout the house because that's another thing um gray paint if i don't have proper lighting it's going to just make the place look dark so people don't like anymore they want to feel more open so lighting is important again like i mentioned very strategic renovations here's what i have done this bathroom looks beautiful isn't it so i changed the vanity added the mirror some handles you know little things but look at this stuff i kept it it's the older one just glazed it made it look nice recocked it kept even the tiles just changed this tiles here because those were some of them were destroyed so we tried as much as to keep the old stuff so we don't have to you know spend too many dollars like this tub will cost like 500 dollars at least and replacing another like labor cost is another 500 to 1000 dollars so i said you know what forget it is in a good condition so same thing fresh paint fresh lightings you know looks beautiful and perfect for tenants another strategic one this all the steel was like in a very rough shape and it's still there we just welded and put a nice wood here and at the bottom and painted all the railings to a nice black so just looks clean fresh so very strategic i didn't want to do the whole gut job so kept it wherever it's good replaced with the wood or added wood wherever it's needed and look at that before it was like kind of very squeezy so i put a nice gravel like i think a 300 dollars or some load like two or three loads leveled it up now they can park like three or four cars another biggest challenge so this was not in the city or corner but came up there was a full washroom here disappeared now i didn't do wantedly because the city forced me to do it when the inspector was here to check the other work i don't know what triggered him he looked at no permits were taken before this washroom was here like for i think 20 30 years but he said there was no permits either you got to go through the whole new process to make a new washroom or take it out i'm like i'm already delayed a lot on the project and i already i already compromised on making duplex to a single family so i already have two washrooms one on the main floor one on the second floor so i said do you know what i want to save some cost now i am already going over the board so i said okay forget i took them out even that costed i think 6 or 700 grand to do the camera inspection make sure they close them properly with the licensed plumber so yeah again make sure when you're buying you got to verify these things so I sometimes call the city this is one of the challenge that you know you rarely come across but you will do so heads up okay so let's quickly look at the uh, numbers of this property uh, so we i purchased this property last year um, for a good price because you know there were so much work and the work caught and all those things so that's why i got it for 246 um, so this is the down payment we invested um closing cost so the total money we put in uh, apart from the mortgage so we got a traditional mortgage for 20 percent down from a bank so our total money we invested at the closing is 54103 and then for renovations so building permit we gotta pull the permits because there were work orders like i mentioned um and the material cost so if you have watched the video we have done a lot of changes right like the new flooring the flooring cost is three dollars per square feet right we bought a nice uh flooring the um you know 
industrial style vinyl flooring uh, countertop. It's a granite countertop in the main floor kitchen and upstairs kitchen that it, itself. And also like in the washrooms, nice vanities, nice mirrors, um, nice light fixtures, painting, a um, lot of drywall work we had to do. Uh, some in the basement, some in the mudroom, uh, painting throughout the house. So all that material, 16,800. Um, labor cost, again, is pretty expensive, 40,000, because, you know, there was a lot of work painting, um, you know, pretty much doing the backyard, did some landscaping, slight landscaping, um, redid the whole that mudroom, um kitchen all the cabinets were painted nicely uh, all the both the washrooms were redone and one washroom we have to take it out so that also cost because you know we gotta take that and baseboards like trims uh, all throughout the house change the doors a lot of doors um two washrooms pretty much brand new uh so you know all those costs uh, yeah it, it adds up you know <laughs> uh, but again look at this the pretty good thing is we spent total 57,802. So the total money we have invested in this project, $111,905. But here's a cool thing. We have, we are in the process of refinancing and I'm expecting estimated value is 400,000 based on the comparables because it used to, it's supposed to be more then you know i was predicting 500 if it was a duplex because i didn't do a duplex i converted duplex to a resident single family so uh, just with the additional kitchen so the comparables are around 400 420 again i've been i'm being conservative 400 it might even come at 420 430 uh, but at 400 um, our new mortgage will be for 320 and we will be able to take hundred and twenty three thousand so that means if you do the math here hundred and eleven thousand minus of this hundred and twenty so we're gonna get extra ten thousand cash into our pocket so of course we're gonna leave that in the account for the future expenditures any unexpected things and investor will so i have an investment partner so he gets all his money and we still own the property and here's the projections for the cash flow so uh, we already rented actually, by the way, if the tenants moved in for this month, um, paying 2000 plus their, they pay for all the utilities, hydro, water, and gas. So our mortgage based on this amount, the new amount 320 is one, 1,180. Again, I'm being conservative at 1.99 because currently the rates I can get for 1.67, 1.7. Uh, but again let's be conservative property tax insurance property management maintenance after everything i, I went for a little higher um, than what it cost so just to be on the safe side so in a conservative way i'll be making positive 200 dollars. again it's not that much but it's fantastic because no money in our deal and this is a perfect burr so that's my story with that Thank you so much guys for watching the video uh, let me know if you have any questions uh leave in the comments below um go check out the other tours that you know you might enjoy learning about renovations so with that i'll sign off and smash that like button if you enjoyed so far